Hello and welcome to another Great Guitars video. This is a Skipper model which is going online on the shop later today. It is Monday the early December sometime, 5th or 6th of December. This is our Skipper and um, I made a few of these recently. I shall insert some pictures of them now so you can see them as I speak. That crazy Jack Daniels guitar was based on a Skipper. That's actually a hollowed, a semi hollow one which is very cool. And there's a lovely um, uh, natural topped one, which I'll show you now. And then there's some that have gone out to uh, the pedal show and um, places like that. I took one to Nam a couple of years ago. But now we have one for the shop and I love this guitar. This is obviously based on a jazz master guitar. Uh, we do make them with pit guards as well, as you'd have seen in, the, in those last photos, but this one is a direct mount version, so there's nothing on the back, just a shiny metallic purple gloss nitro finish. Um, so about this guitar, let's just go through the specs of it first so you know what we're talking about. Radio Shop, wearing a t-shirt and everything, Radio Shop uh, pickups, they're great, fantastic. Um, a Mastery Bridge, uh, Mastery um, I think basically started by making replacement bridges for Mustang Jazzmaster guitars and they knocked it out of the park straight away. All the problems you associate with um, those bridges are solved with the mastery one. So let's go through what those problems were. Uh, number one, the posts of this bridge part rattled around in the little thimbles that go in the body. All over the place, you bend the tremolo down, it would bend forward, it's just awful. Now, the little thimbles that go in the body of this guitar fit the legs of the bridge just on an atomic level. They slide in, you know, the tolerances are absolutely tiny. And for someone who makes stuff, you know, I can super appreciate how well they're made. Um, we also countersink this bridge part. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure if you can see that, but that is, I mean, I had a photo, but this is countersunk into the body. I think it looks nice, and also it does give you a few extra millimetres of brake angle across the bridge, which is the all-important thing. The saddles here are infinitely better than any um, Jazzmaster old-fashioned ones. Really well adjustable, intonation's perfect, um, you know, string-wise, uh, it's great. Um, so what we've got... We've got these amazing knobs. I'll give you a close up on these knobs as well uh, by Anomaly Hardware. He's also based in Cornwall, Mr. Luke White, little design genius down here who helps me as well. Um, what else have we got? We've got a crazy, I was gonna keep it for myself, but you know, you guys are worth it. Tom's secret stash, flame, crazy neck. A lovely striped um, ebony board, which is just gorgeous. Uh, Spurzel locking tuners, we've got Stumac 154 frets that are they're very similar to Dunlop 6105, but they're, they're kind of tall and the ones we all like. Uh, it's got a Damasio EP111 switch, which is the best heavy duty, looks shiny, never going to wear out in a million years, super quality that. Uh, what we got, so we got um, uh, the usual Complete easy access um, neck arrangement. Nice little uh, tortoise shell control plate cover there. This is a purple metallic, kind of like a you know, dairy milk kind of purple. Um, high gloss, nitro. Yeah, that's the basic geography of the guitar. How does it sound? Well, um, I'm plugged into a um, Princeton reverb. It is quite close to me. And these are single chord pickups after all, so if you hear a tiny bit of noise, you know, that's to be expected. I also found out my, uh, my house isn't earthed properly. An electrician told me that when he was fitting my uh, little uh, energy meter, he told me, your house isn't earthed properly. So that was, uh, and you hear the extraneous hum, that's what it is. Let's just go through um, some sounds. So I'm not going through any pedals uh, as yet. Straight into this Princeton. Uh, it's got a bit, bit of reverb, I suppose. So let's just go through the pickup. So here we are on the bridge. Now I have, like I've done a few guitars recently, the tone control is only wired to the bridge. That's just because, for me personally, taking a bit of top off the bridge pickup when you've sorted out the neck pickup 
to balance them out, I think is the most sensible way of doing things. So let, let's have a bit of bridge pickup. <laughs> to remember is jazz masters are 25.5 inch scale length they're the same as a strat or a telecaster guitar i think a lot of people think they're like a mustang and they're 24 inch scale length they're like a banjo and they have no sustain which is great for certain things but um not for most things now this is a 25.5 inch scale length and the strings obviously very long they go all the way from here to here so it does have a different feel and it's a feel i really like personally <laughs> feel the whole body resonating when this E string is plucked. Really a pleasant sound, really rich, fantastic. Um, both on together. unmistakable two pickups on at once uh, sound. Neck on its own. is unbelievably light and the bar is very long it's like you know almost twice as long as a as Stratocaster's type one so the, the combination of those things is a very unique feel and the tuning stability is great really good these are brand new strings like literally brand new five minutes ago but I mean genius I love him Fender don't forget that everyone made the jazz master as a improvement on the Stratocaster you know, all these things he thought were improvements the crazy rhythm circuits and stuff which you know what a genius um, and I think mean, the jazz master bridge in a lot of ways I think is a superior bridge to the Stratocaster one especially when the mastery guys and girls have uh, solved the problems they've solved. Sounds amazing, really great. So, um, I'm gonna add a little bit of um, processing. I've got a little bit of compression, a bit of reverb and you know, delay, just for that kind of, you know, modern clean sounds we really like. I'll just play through some more little, little bits. a bit of, uh, let's go with this one, I think I've got a bit of, yeah, 
This one is just a little bit of drive from uh, Hampstead Odyssey. <laughs> Let me show you this tone control. Now, this tone control is set up so that it doesn't, it's not like a Roy Buchanan wah-wah tone. Um, if you don't know who Roy Buchanan is, it's wah-wah tone. Maybe Google it, look it up on YouTube. This is, let me just play you a little bit of tone control adjustment on the bridge pickup with an overdrive sound with a JM style guitar. Here we go. So here is um, wound up all the way, clean open. <laughs> tone down a little bit to take off any tiny spikes that you might or not want. as well. So, a few misconceptions about offset guitars, they are reedy, plinky plonky, 24 inch scale length twang machines. No, they're not. They are full bodied, resonant, lots of bass if you need them, versatile, I'm going to say cool looking. I think I love this guitar shape. I really like how it's turned out. Um, it's all my favourite things about a JM style guitar, but slightly smaller because they can get you know, a little bit bigger it's, much, it's smaller and the curves are kind of just never stop um pickups are great the bridge all the problems with the bridge are just completely solved locking tuners super stable neck looks beautiful this is going on the shop today so after an offset guitar please consider a gray guitar skipper thank you for your time and goodbye